Hey guys, um, it's an exciting day because today um, we've been invited to go to the Tesla Coral Gables store in Miami here to test drive the, um, the brand new Model 3. Um, I did put down a reservation uh, about a couple months ago for a standard version of the Model 3, but I don't think that's a car we're going to be driving today. I believe the car we're going to be driving today is the premium version with a long range battery. I actually asked them yesterday um, when what's the availability of the standard battery and they told me six to nine months. So it's still going to be a little wait, but at least today we're able to um, actually go physically test drive the Model 3 um, at the Coral Gables store. And uh, if you look to the front, um, there is a Tesla store right over there behind this uh, the building in the front. And we're gonna pull into the drive lot and uh, we'll see how, how it goes. Uh, they do have a lot of Teslas here, uh, which is really interesting. I think this is also their service center. So um, this is probably the most Tesla you're gonna see in Miami. Uh, lots of Model 3s and Model X, only a few Model 3. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, lots of Model S and X and very few Model 3s. Uh, and obviously, I think it's a busy day because lots of people has been scheduled to test drive. We need to find a space to park first. position is here. The turn signals on here work as so, up and down, and then you see how it stays on? Just tap up or down to turn that off, okay. or you can tap it up or down for a temporary signal. Okay. Okay. We're going to adjust the steering wheel and the side view mirrors using this knob right here, but I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. Sure. I'll go on the back. Sorry, what's your name? Adrian. Adrian. Um, press the brake and that's going to activate the motor. We should take that off right now. I'm going to show you a couple things before we get going. So, this is the touch screen. Uh, once you're familiar with it, think of it like your smartphone in the sense that it becomes very intuitive to use. So, all of our dashboard information is going to appear here when we get driving. We'll see that the vehicle's. Um, for example, like the road, the lines on the road, uh -huh. the cars in front of you, and the sensors will appear here. So that's where that information will be. And then you have the navigation on here, and you can put the music full screen like so, or half screen. And it's using its own like uh, wireless network? Correct, yes. It has its own, uh, uh, right now we're on the, the network of the Wi-Fi, but it has AT&T 4G LTE as okay. well. Bluetooth for the phone, so you can do calls as well. Uh, the music service, if you aren't familiar, it's uh, Spotify. Spotify it's, okay. it's Slacker, but it's the uh, same thing as Spotify, basically. Got it. Tons of music options. Um, and basically, uh, you can search for it by clicking here. Or we can more easily just do it by pressing the voice control button right here. And we can do that for the navigation as well. So as an example, let's try that out. Let's try naming somewhere far away. Um, like Orlando or California, anything like that. When you're ready, press this button, press. wait for the beep, and then say, take me to, or navigate to. Navigate to Orlando, Florida. So now we're gonna click here. Uh, we actually have plenty of miles, so it's gonna go there in one shot, I think. <laughs> but just as an example, I'm gonna zoom out so you can see it. Look at all these little chargers on uh, the map. So all the red ones are the superchargers. Whenever you put an address in that's past the current charge, just so say I go to, um, let's say we're going super far away to California, it's going to route us through the charger network. So never are you needing to guess where the charger is that you have to go to. Okay. Just put it in the navigation, it'll route you to there. So it'll take care of all that. It'll give you real-time calculations, tell you how long you have to wait at each stop, what the battery will be like each stop. So no guesswork involved. Nice. Okay. 
Okay, we'll cancel that for now. Um, another really incredible feature about this car, uh, the AC is dynamic. You can actually change the airflow and how it functions. So if I want the air going here versus, let's say, over here, you can actually adjust it to where you want oh, it to wow. flow. Cool. How do you split it? This little button. Oh, I see. So the dynamic wow. flow. That's pretty nice. So like how about it. you see on the back? Now in the bag, it's just uh, standard for <laughs> <right> here. <laughs> it's a little too cool. strong, that's why I asked. Oh, is it? Okay, let's yeah. uh, wow. turn up a little bit there. It should be better. Better, yes. Thanks. Um, finally, worth mentioning that you have uh, this connection where you can set up the car to link to your garage, garage. or gate. Mm -hmm. So that as soon as you approach it, it'll open, and as you get inside, it closes, and oh. vice versa. It'll open as you're leaving and close as you're uh, um, out of it. Got it. Okay. Uh, finally, the car is set up to receive updates regularly overnight, so those are the Easter eggs. Um, what you would do is you go to the T and click release notes and you can see just like with your smartphone exactly what changed, uh -huh. except in this case, unlike a gas car where you usually pay for these updates, it's all free and complimentary with the vehicle. Sure. Okay. So, finally, uh, we're going to set up the driving settings down in the corner here. Okay. So there's a lot more we can play around with if we want to just... Uh, for now, we're just going to adjust the mirrors, mirrors. and the steering wheel. Okay. So let me know if I uh, adjust the left uh, side view so mirror. So I use this in? one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so as it indicates. Okay. And the right one is good? Right one. The side? Uh, it's still okay. that, yeah. Okay, and now let's just adjust the steering wheel. Any any adjustments there? Um, back yeah, and so forth. Push it left or right to oh, do that. Nice. Good. Good. All right. Awesome. Now, finally, before we get driving, uh, we'll set up the driving settings. So check the uh, sensitivity on the um, on the steering wheel right now. This is about medium. This would be a little looser. And this would be sport. Okay. I think the standard will be fine. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Shima? Uh, let me check. Yeah, I think it's recording. Yep. Should <laughs> be. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, now there's two other things we have to touch on, then we'll get going. On the regenerative braking, when you let off the accelerator, it slows the vehicle down automatically. The more you let off, the quicker it slows down. Standard's a little more intense, low is more like normal where it okay. cruises forward. Any preference there? Uh, let's try standard. Okay. So that saves more energy, right? Correct, yeah. Okay. And on creep, uh, creep off is uh, unlike the gas car, when you have the car stopped at a light, you can let off your foot and it stays braked. Got it. Um, slowly move so if we have it up. on, it will keep going forward and you hold the brake. I don't know what's the difference, but I guess... So, so when creep is on, you have to hold the brake in order to keep the car sitting still. Okay, so, oh, I see. Mm -hmm. it's like so a when low creep is on, engage. it it'll okay. creep. Yeah. Um, let's turn it off. Turn it off? Yes. Alright. We're pretty much good to go. Everything comfy. Is, uh, rear view is good? Yes. You can have the camera on even while you're driving if you're interested. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. Okay, so fully down to put in drive, fully up to go in reverse, and press in to park. One thing to note here, you see this little clock icon? Uh -huh. This shows that we can do autopilot from here. Okay. Later on, we'll try it. You'll press down twice to oh, turn it on. So okay. now press down to drive. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. There you go. So you have your seat belt. And right now it's visiting. So yes, this is not creeping, creeping, right? Or nope. is this creeping? No, not creeping. Okay. We're gonna go this way. Okay, perfect. Take a left here. Okay. And then we'll take a right at the stop sign. Yeah, I feel the slow. It breaks pretty aggressively. Mm -hmm. If you want to reduce it, we can. It's not going to, honestly, it's more important you enjoy the way it drives versus more energy saving. Because charging at home is going to make it so you're always with a full battery. Very rarely you're going to have be inconvenienced. 
or be concerned even that the battery needs to recharge quicker. So really, it's uh, people like it because it reduces your footwork if, yeah. you, if possible. Because uh, the reason I'm getting this car is because if my driving uh, seven miles to the UM hospital is uh, all okay. city, like on US one mostly. Yep. yep. Yeah, so I think this would help if mm. I get used to it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, another question for the supercharge, uh, or like, is it okay to charge it every day, top it off, or should I drive for a little bit and then charge it at one setting? Uh, so no, you should just charge it as often as you want, as often. Um, okay. and then just charge it uh, fully or however much you need. Uh, you don't ever have to worry about the battery having memory or okay. not char uh, overcharging. That doesn't exist for these. Got it. We're going to continue straight for two more lights. Okay. So can you feel uh, good back there? Yeah. Don't worry, come easy. Z, yes. It's easier. Okay. Z, alright. It's very responsive. We're going to take uh, up ahead here, there's a do not block sign. We're going to take the right, right there. Okay. And now I, I, I don't even have to press a brake. Mm -hmm. Like, when I get used to it, it just slowly slows down. Here's a good place if you want to go from zero and accelerate. It's okay. a good feeling. Just press it in the front. Don't hit the... Wow. Don't, don't hit him. Don't hit who? The no. guy in the front. Yes. Oh, it's good. Drive from the light, for example, at the, once it turns green. Okay. It's like Nissan Power. It's, mm -hmm. it's faster than my old motorcycle. <laughs> okay. Now, you do need to get used to the brake, yeah. you know, how the brake works. Do you want to try the difference just to see how it is? Mm, yeah. Because <laughs> honestly, it's going to save, uh, it still saves energy on low, so it, really it should be the one you prefer driving and then think, yeah. oh, okay, I'm saving energy a little bit more. Mm. Um, like the things, uh, my hospital have all the charging stations, so every time I go to work, I just plug it in. Very convenient, yeah. yeah. So I don't even It'll have to charge. Save you a lot of money on gas, too. Yeah. Um, and if I remember correctly, those are complimentary for the hospital. Yeah. Yep. That's good. <laughs> okay. Let's try not to hit him. <laughs> he's, uh, he's not on I the sidewalk. I don't think it's even legal. Um, <laughs> no, it's not actually, but it's okay. Okay, so let me try it. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> now we have the reduced, uh, yeah. you like the pacing of it? Yeah, it's more like a regular car. I hear a high-pitched sound, I the heard. The, yeah, so some of the motor sound will come if you really punch it. It mm -hmm. gives it that feeling of like a like a spaceship taking off. <laughs> but if you... Uh, it's, it's very responsive. Normally you won't hear it at all. It's instant, like there's no engine it's trying like, to kick in. Yep, it's like a light switch yeah. almost. One to one. Oh, Z, did you want to try a bit of it? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do the following. Let's take a left uh, on the next uh, little turn, or do our full U-turn, and we'll okay. make our way back that sure. way. And then uh, we'll um, try the Autobahn on the way back. Okay. And also, um, does it have the sensor to automatically stop if there's obstacles in the front? So if you're going more than 30 miles an hour, then emergency braking takes effect. That's okay. a regulation in the U.S. Uh, anything below 30 as you approach this car you'll be warned as you get closer how close you're getting the a inches and you'll start panic alert or only graphic very audible okay very audible <laughs> got it so it'll start panic beeping basically <laughs> same thing with blind spots where if you get close enough it'll actually give resistance on the wheel got it. and it will give you a very intuitive sound that makes you think oh i better go back to where i was uh -huh. oh take a look it's like it's real time wow <laughs> so when the car on the side comes, it also shows yes, up? Yes, yeah. Got it. That's so the we're blind spot. that curb right now, you see. Got it. Yeah, let's do the full uh, okay. roundabout. Okay. That'll work. And it turns, it feels very light. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is he comfortable back there? Yeah, thanks. Great. Let me know where you want to 
stop so long. Um, sure. Anywhere here would okay. be fine if we don't pull over here. That would work. Should be okay. Oh, it keeps reaching for the brake. <laughs> That's um, it right there. Up. Right on the end. Up this. Yeah. There you go. Oh, perfect. Wow. Okay. Cool. All right. Quick switch. <laughs> and Click the button right, right here like so. Okay. That opens the door. turn signals on there. Um, the one thing I didn't get to show you directly is this one. So mm -hmm. when you fully down to put in drive, fully up to put in reverse, and then twice down is going to do the uh, the auto steering, okay? Auto steering. So we're going to try that later on, but when you when we're in drive, we're going to go ba, ba, like that, and we'll uh -huh. turn it on, okay? Uh, what is auto steering? Auto steering we'll is the... automatic driving. Oh. You can. We'll, we'll be very gentle. It won't, yeah. be, it won't be challenged, I promise. <laughs> You're going to like it, I promise. Okay, okay so... Ready? Press the brake, and then I'll activate the motor. Did you want to change any of the uh, settings? Did you maybe want a different see, uh, feel of the steering? Maybe try sport? Try I'll, try this, I'll try the standard first, okay. uh -huh. and then maybe switch to sport. Okay. Yeah. So... Alright, so we're ready to go in your... Let's take the right so that we can feel a bit of the performance again. It's fun. That's all I can say. But don't hit those bikers, please. <laughs> oh, I got it. No worries. <laughs> I'll keep you guys safe. Mm -hmm. And this this glass, I thought it's gonna be hot, but no, it doesn't. it's 99% solar absorbent. Got it. So wow. the heat will get. On here, about one percent of the heat will come in, Got it. but only get stuck on the uh, glass. Uh. So if you put your hand to it, it might be hot, but that's about I it. I see. Yeah, try it. It's fun. It's instant. Wow. Oh, okay. It's actually tighter than my car. Tighter? What do you mean, the steering? Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, I mean the the gas. Uh huh. More, res more response. The gas or? pedal, yeah. Yeah. I have to uh, like push more. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. It's a it's a preference thing mm -hmm. for the gas pedal, yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll take the left of this light here. seat is uh, is very spacious too. Did you guys want to hear any of the sound system? Did you want to see anything yeah. that we haven't seen? Sure. Uh -huh. This is an example. And this is uh, and this is a premium sound option, right? Yes. Okay. This is the premium sound.
So when you're comfortable, I'll tell you when. Go ahead and press twice downward on the driving stock here. One, two. There you go. Oh. Now it's taking the steering for you. Wow. Oh, actually, yeah. The steering is already now on you can, mine. Now yeah. you can just so, put your hands off. <laughs> so what it's going to do is if it sees a car, it's going to slow down for it. Or say a car is coming out, it'll slow down for that. And it's just going to follow the road. So you uh -huh. see how the road's slightly bending? Yeah. Oh, we can wow. see it's following the lanes. And it sees those cars as it gets close to them. You see that? Mm. So it's not meant to replace you as a driver, but in traffic, it basically lets you relax uh -huh. mentally and physically. And it adjusts to the speed uh, limit. Yes. So you can reduce the speed also. Say you wanted to reduce it, you could just move this knob down. Uh -huh. Right now it's 30, I think. Right? Oh, okay. oh yeah. Uh, what if I try to increase it? You Would can, it allow yeah, me? Yeah, you can go over about by five or so. Thirty-five. It oh, says max. <laughs> I think uh, just for this road, for okay. the local roads, they're yeah. limited to five over sure. in this setting. But you can adjust it further um, using the settings. Of the uh -huh. Should I it's slowing down for the car in front of you? But we're going to take the left. So when you're ready, go ahead and disengage by pressing the brake. Perfect. You got it. <laughs> now you have full control. Yeah. yeah. It's a little different. So it takes some getting used to. It is quite intuitive. I would say. Uh -huh. But once you're on like stuck in tr uh, traffic on US one, oh man, it's a big difference. Uh -huh. Let me tell you. Yes. You actually can free up your feet. You can think clearly. You just get to look. Uh huh. So that can be a huge difference. <laughs> <laughs> now she wants it. <laughs> we had one. I'll never forget the. We had a very very macho dude, big muscle builder guy. Came in, he was super excited to get one of our cars. And he was talking it up like, oh, you know, this is just another car to me. I'll take a left when you're ready. And he was telling me, um, he was like, oh, yeah, it's going to be awesome. We're just getting it for the acceleration. Didn't think much of the autopilot. About a week after buying the car, he called us. And I'll never forget because we all thought he was joking at first. We thought it was a joke. He called us up and it sounded like he was crying over the phone. <laughs> like, he sounded like he was in tears, like he was bawling or just finished crying. And I was like, what's, what's up? Is something wrong with the car? And we thought we're like, oh, he's messing with us at this point. He said, no, no, I have to tell you, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. This is amazing. And he was telling us how he did a one-hour commute on I-95 mm -hmm. regularly. Wow. And that it was a complete difference for his life. Oh. He was getting to work rested and, like, calm. And <laughs> so he was telling us how he would completely change in just a week. So I was like, wow, okay. <laughs> uh, granted, I, at that time, I hadn't driven the autopilot enough uh -huh. to know, but definitely is that game changer it, it really does yeah. nice a nice little perk that can be a big difference for miami traffic that's for sure true especially if you are going to downtown yep. Yeah. yep 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 um, yeah, we can pull in there. We can also, if you want to see the auto park, uh, also park. Oh, see wow. if there's a spot to do it in. This spot <laughs> might work, um, but we'll have to like angle it so it sees the curb as a, uh -huh. as a car. Because normally it's between two cars. Let's Got continue it. through the lot. Maybe there's a spot available. Let's just check real quick. Probably not, though. Mm -hmm. yeah, I was pretty Let's full. do the fine. Let's reverse. Let's reverse. Um, and what we'll do is we'll get next to that spot again. And it should be able to do it. Wow, this high camera high. is high res. So right now, yeah, right now it's a neutral. Do I lift to, to mm -hmm. You're in reverse already. Okay. Mm -hmm. What we can also do is we could go to another parking lot if you want to try it with a parallel spot. Um, totally okay. up to you guys. Maybe Lee, yeah, you want to I hop in she... and try a little bit? I think just let her try. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> sounds good. I'm I'm fine with parking okay. myself by myself, Sounds but good. yeah, I think she will benefit. Let's get on this side, so just go that way. That side. Either one's fine. Okay. We'll back up into the where we want to be in a moment. Okay. I'll keep an eye on it for you as well. Yeah, it's always weird to reverse a lot. Uh -huh. Is it good enough? Keep going back. Keep going. Yeah, I want to go uh, all the way back, basically. Oh. Okay. A little more. Okay, now what we're going to do is get on this side, so when you're ready, put it in drive, fully down. <laughs> it's different because it's so uh, smooth, it feels like it might be in drive. Okay, perfect. Now, let's see, it might read it from here, let's see. Maybe not. So let's reverse one more time, and what we're going to do is just go straight back so we get next to this car. 
we're letting it do is just kind of read the curve there as a... should be good. Perfect. Okay. Put it back in drive now. And what we're going to do is just move a little bit closer this way. And we'll bring itself a little bit this way when you're ready. And then we're going to get next to that X again. Yeah, closer to the X. Perfect. That's good. Yep. And just continue straight from here. So straighten out and then go straight. So we're like letting it see the car and letting it see this car. Uh -huh. So we'll go a little more forward. We're back of our car should line up with this one. And that should be good. Come okay. to stop. You see that P on display? Mm -hmm. it means it found the spot. Put it in reverse. And now from here, we're going to press that button. Wow. And get ready. It's going to do the rest for you. Wow. Now, don't be alarmed. It might get nice and close to the curve. Mm -hmm. It's going to adjust once it gets to it. Wow. <laughs> Looks scary. <laughs> so it actually almost touched it right there. Uh huh. So it's very precise. Uh, for parallel parking, it's designed to fit in extremely tight spots. Uh -huh. So it takes all that burden off of you and lets it do it for you. Yep. Is this uh, comes with standard package or it's like This a... is the autopilot package. So the Got autopilot, it. the safety features are all standard. Uh -huh. So it'll always be protecting you from accidents, but the convenience things of turning it on and letting it do the driving, Got that's it. the $5,000 package. Uh -huh. Not, by, not a requirement by any means, but certainly it is for some who love that uh, not dealing with the traffic. So. Uh -huh. There you have it. Wow. How'd you like it, guys? <laughs> cool. Are you a fan? <laughs> cool and useful. It's, uh, yeah, it's. Alright, so now it's parked? Mm hmm. Okay. Do I need to. No, we're done. We'll oh. just get All right. out. Cool. Yes. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Now, once you have access with the phone, you can check the the car's uh, status. You can see the charge. You can see where it's located, even from across the globe. And you can cool uh -huh. the car remotely and do everything. You can even move the car forward and back remotely as well. Very so nice. you have like a tight parking spot. And you move that out. How do I Press that button right there. Yeah. <laughs> Okay guys, so um, I have just finished the test drive, I just got home and I just want to wrap up this um, test driving experience and I have to say I'm very impressed by uh, what I have experienced driving the Tesla Model 3. Um, I know it is not the standard range model uh, with standard options, this is a long range model with um, premium accessories leather seats, you know, glass sunroofs, and autopilot enabled. Um, <clears throat> but still, um, I actually have experienced all the features um, included in the premium option. And I have to say, based on my experience, I may have, um, I may add the autopilot option uh, when I get my standard uh, range model, Tesla 3, because I think it's really useful for, um, for actually city commuting. Uh, that's expect. Uh, that's exactly what I do. I commute every day about um, you know fifteen miles round trip to and back from my work, uh, and it's mostly in city traffic, stop and go. Um, in Miami city traffic, as you know, is always uh, very bad, especially during commuting hours. And I think the autopilot would definitely do its trick because um, I can relax. Granted, I'll still be you know keeping a, keeping an eye on the on the open road. Uh, it's just gonna be much less stressful in the stop and go situation with autopilot. So that is a really neat feature that I really liked during this test drive. Another thing I also loved is how responsive the acceleration is. Granted, it's only, I know this version, the, the long range, um, I think uh, 0 to 60 is uh, like a little more than five seconds and the standard version is gonna be slightly, like half a second slower than the long range version. But the responsiveness of the acceleration is instant. There's, there's no waiting for the engine to kick in um, to get up to speed. It's basically when you step on the pedal, the speed is right over there. The acceleration is right over there. It's, it's, it's a very weird but good uh, feeling uh, during acceleration. I would say it's almost as fast you know, as my old uh, motorcycle, the Z1000 that I actually recently sold. Um, it is it feels faster than my motorcycle let's put it in that way and uh, 
another thing is lots of people when I was reading online reviews lots of people were complaining lots of reviewers complaining about all those features on the touch screen and the fact is when I'm driving I never ever had one point needed to use a touch screen at all I was focusing on the road and uh, the entire driving experience provided is very smooth the only thing I used is turn signals um, during the test drive but um, once you have the mirrors adjusted once you have the air temperature adjusted to your liking once you have the direction of the air temperature adjusted to your liking there's really no need to um, look at the screen or like have your hand on the touch screen a lot there's really no need during regular driving at all so um, I guess from a review point of view yes there's not enough buttons um, there for you to press but then really during driving there's not much buttons you actually need to press for a regular driver um, so that takes care of my concern when I was reading the reviews uh, myself and now I actually test drive the vehicle I, I can tell you the touch screen is really responsive it's really useful and you don't have to use it a lot um, when you focus on the enjoying driving experience on the road um, and also um, it feels to me it feels like a family sedan um, but with a lot of fun features added to the family sedan to make it actually fun as a family sedan <laughs> put it that way and of course uh, the price um, the base model price it's I guess it's similar compared to a maybe a V6 um, like a family another family sedan like a Honda Accord which is currently what I'm driving I'm driving a Honda Accord V6 with EXL option, so leather, whatever, um, touch screen, and all those fancy add-ons. But then again, the price is similar, and I think that comparing the my Honda Accord that I have right now with a Tesla 3, I'm definitely ditching my Honda Accord when the Tesla 3 comes available. So um, that gives you a sense of, um, I guess, that could tell you how excited I am with the Model 3. And, um, and I believe if you have the chance, go test drive it. Uh, just schedule a test drive with the Tesla store if you are one of the lucky ones that had a Tesla store near you. It will change your perspective um, in terms of like actually driving an electric vehicle compared to a regular gasoline powered vehicle. And it definitely changed mine. So I'm still going to be waiting for the Model 3. As I said, they told me it's six to nine months of a wait. I think it's worth it. I'll definitely be waiting for it. And I hope you guys find this test drive video um, fun or at least helpful in helping you making the decision. Hopefully you haven't canceled your reservation yet because I'm glad I didn't. I know one of my friends that they canceled it uh, before they even had a, had a chance to test drive the vehicle. So I would say I'm sorry. Um, you, sh you really should just hold on to it because it's really worth the wait. Um, and that is purely my opinion. Again, I'm not paid by Tesla or anybody else to do this kind of reviews. Um, so thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions or comments or concerns, feel free to um, share with me in the comment section below. Uh, I'd love to hear um, the um, response from you guys. So thank you so much and take care.